I'm a neurophysiologist, a scientist, and a mystic. And I put all of these together. Jacqueline has asked me questions and has talked about what's happening in Spain, and I'm very excited that scientists are recognizing that the facts that they have are very limited. They're limited to the material reality as we have known it. And therefore, they're trying to put this together with what we call human consciousness, which was never defined very well. And so I'm going to go back to a very start. We, as human beings, are atomic, at the atomic level, are radiating energy. And that energy is radiating out, and it is the part that creates the difference between us and a rock. We're made of different atoms. And those atoms create and become atoms that energize and activate organs and cells. Our life is basically a transaction in the world. It isn't that we just live and we have the organs to live and then science comes in and tests our living. Unless we had a world that was full of energy, there would be no transaction and there'd be no life. We're trying to find it in the moon and other places with water. But water is what nourishes the energy to become muted and become morphed and become greater and more. So here we are now, an organism that is unique and separate from other organisms. It's based upon energy that is primary source. And that energy transacts, not interacts and reacts, but transacts with other energies in the outside world. And as long as we have these energies in the outside world, we have a greater transaction. So we have more vi viral life, we have more excitement, and what happens here is there are levels of vibrations. Some levels are very low vibrations, and they're the ones that activate our cells and our tissues. And some become higher in vibrations in the transaction with the world. And these are our organs and our neural system and our brain. And some become higher than that. And they become a thing that we call human consciousness. And as we look and work with people in consciousness, we will find some people that operate in their consciousness on the very lowest level. They're one with the world, the physical being. They can sense things that happen in the physical world. They can sense a cyclone coming. They can sense trees and earth when they're healthy. And some are those that are sensing a kind of reality that's one level of reality and some are sensing another level of reality. And that level of reality has to do with the problems that come when we transact. Much of our life as humans is based upon solving problems, simple, ordinary problems. Get up in the morning, feed ourselves, handle the bills, move the car, and do this. <clears throat> and then there are stages at which we go into higher vibrations. And in those higher vibrations, we come into the mystical things. And the mystical things is we see reality in another level. Now we already got three levels of reality. <clears throat> and the last level is the divine level. The part that we were created by, the divine level. This is the highest level. This is the level that has all information. And for those people who channel and bring back information that happened 10,000 years ago, or they know what's going to happen in the future, are the ones in the divine level where all the information exists. Science has worked on the first two, material reality <clears throat> and worked on the lowest level. And now we're realizing that the facts we got there are not the actual facts. They're only partial facts. And so as we keep working as scientists, we come to a point that says, this man got this fact, and this man got this fact, and they don't go together. And the reason they don't get it, go together is because they're not looking at the higher facts. 
And so scientists now are starting to look at the higher facts, but they're still looking at them linearly. Rather than this is an energy field of information. And when they come to this level, <clears throat> they come to the level of microvoltage of the energy field radiating around the body. And this energy field radiating around the body becomes individualized by each person by way of what we call the mind. Now the mind to most people, and he spoke about the mind, is in the brain. That's the recorded mind. And it keeps operating reflexly. <clears throat> and it's true. It's hard to change that once we've got the pattern. But the real pattern is the mind that's in the field. And any time you respond to anything, the field has to respond first before the sensory nervous system gets anything, before you can test any fact in terms of the body, you have to test what happened to the field. And the field becomes programmed for two, two things, just two things. And that is to preserve life at any expense and to embellish it. And you know what embellishment means. <clears throat> so the art is the embellishment. The power of the divine in embellishment. It communicates on an energy field level rather than a factual level. And therefore it is in for interpretation on the consciousness level, on many levels. Some people will look at your pictures and they will see the darkness, the heaviness, and they will also see the structure. Other people will look and see the elevation of that in consciousness. And some people will see the whole thing and say, this is complete consciousness. <clears throat>